Climate change is a term that refers to the long-term changes in the Earth's climate, such as temperature, precipitation, wind patterns, and sea level. Climate change is mainly caused by human activities that emit greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat and warm the planet, leading to various impacts on the environment and human society. Some of the impacts of climate change include melting ice caps and glaciers, rising sea levels, more frequent and intense extreme weather events, such as droughts, floods, heat waves, and storms, loss of biodiversity and habitats, increased spread of diseases and pests, reduced crop yields and food security, and increased conflicts and migration. Climate change also poses a threat to human health, well-being, and development. Now let's discuss some of the impacts of climate change on human health. Direct effects of extreme weather events, such as heat waves, storms, floods, and droughts, that can cause injury, illness, and death. Indirect effects of changes in air quality, water quality, food safety, and infectious diseases, that can affect respiratory, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, and immune systems. Mental health effects of stress, trauma, anxiety, depression, and displacement caused by climate change and its impacts. Some people are more vulnerable to these impacts than others, depending on their exposure, sensitivity, health status, and adaptive capacity. Effects of extreme weather events on wildlife and ecosystems. Loss of habitat and food sources due to fires, floods, droughts, storms, and erosion. Disruption of migration, breeding, and feeding patterns due to changes in temperature and precipitation. Increased exposure to diseases, parasites, predators, and invasive species due to stress and displacement. Reduced genetic diversity and increased risk of extinction due to population decline and fragmentation. Now some ways you can contribute to monitoring climate change impacts on wildlife and ecosystems is by participating in citizen science projects. Citizen science is a form of public engagement in scientific research that involves volunteers collecting, analyzing, or sharing data on various topics, including climate change and its effects on biodiversity some examples of citizen science. Projects related to climate change and wildlife. Naturalist, a platform where you can record and share your observations of plants and animals, and learn from other naturalists. Ebird, a project where you can report your bird sightings and contribute to a global database of bird distribution and abundance. In this way you can contribute in monitoring of climate change. Now let's discuss how to prevent the climate change. To control climate change, we need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and enhance our resilience to its impacts. This requires a collective effort from governments, businesses, civil society, and individuals at all levels. Some of the measures that can be taken to control climate change are adopting renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, hydro, and biofuels, and phasing. Adopting renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, hydro, and biofuels, and phasing out fossil fuels. Improving energy efficiency and conservation in buildings, transportation, industry, and appliances. Implementing carbon pricing mechanisms, such as taxes or cap-and-trade systems, to incentivize emission reductions. Promoting low-carbon lifestyles and behaviors, such as using public transport or cycling, eating less meat and more plant-based foods, recycling and reducing waste, supporting research and innovation in clean technologies and solutions, enhancing forest management and restoration, as forests act as carbon sinks that absorb CO2 from the atmosphere, increasing adaptation and mitigation actions in vulnerable sectors and regions, such as agriculture, water resources, coastal zones, and health. Strengthening international cooperation and solidarity to support developing countries in fighting climate change. So, now let's know how governments of different countries must act in climate change. Governments play a key role in controlling climate change by setting policies and regulations that guide and support the transition to a low-carbon economy and society. Signing and ratifying the Paris Agreement, which is a global pact that aims to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels HV 2100. 
submitting nationally determined contributions NDCs, which are voluntary pledges that outline each country's emission reduction targets and actions. Implementing national climate action plans that detail how each country will achieve its NDCs. Participating in multilateral forums and negotiations that address various aspects of climate change, such as finance, technology transfer, capacity building, transparency, and adaptation. Providing financial and technical assistance to developing countries to help them cope with the impacts of climate change and pursue low-carbon development paths. Now let's us look the data of the countries who have polluted our Earth most. The largest polluters throughout history and now are mostly developed countries that have industrialized earlier and consumed more fossil fuels. According to a 2020 report by the World Resources Institute, the top 10 cumulative emitters from 1751 to 2017 were, China 12.7%, the United States 25.3%, the European Union 21.8%, India 3.0%, Russia 6.6%, Japan 4.0%, Brazil 1.0%, Indonesia 0.8%, Canada 2.3%, and Mexico 1.4%, for however, some developing countries are also also increasing their emissions rapidly in recent years, such as China and India. So now let me quote for you a conclusion. Climate change is one of the most urgent and complex challenges that humanity and the planet is facing today. It is caused by the accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, mainly from human activities such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and agriculture. The impacts of climate change are already being felt across the world, affecting ecosystems, biodiversity, human health, and socio-economic development. However, there are also solutions and opportunities to address climate change and its effects. By taking action now, we can avoid the worst impacts of climate change and create a more resilient and prosperous future for ourselves and generations to come.